Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack is my name with a G and E TV. Uh, one of the、uh, very important shows we are here holding, talking about the 19th Congress of、uh, CPC, which is happening in China.、Uh, we belong to totally different systems.、Uh, Plus the fact that China is、uh, my original land, I was born and brought up from. I hope everything for the best for China for Chinese. I swear my allegiance to serve this country, to be loyal to this country. That doesn't mean that I have problem with China. I do not have. I hope everything from the bottom of my heart, the best to happen to China. Right here now. Absolutely. With me in the discussion to share those points, those highlights. About the CPC 19th Congress、uh, is my good friend Ken Hamming. Mr. Ken Hamming is、uh, first in my eye political commentator. He's a philosophical kind of、uh, commentator. He doesn't take any BS. Even though he's a strong Republican, most of the time I see where he comes from. I see why and how exactly he comes from, and.、Uh, Other time I see him as、uh, very creative. He's a writer, by the way. Yesterday, in preparing the homework,、mm-hmm. I consulted your book of 100 words. Thank you. And I consulted the word dream. Yes. Because、yep. we're talking about the China Chinese dream. The Chinese、right? dream. Okay. Right. I consulted exactly the word dream. Very, very、okay. a dream and create. And that's Absolutely. A, that's a wonderful book that I still read like a bible. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. So to give you a welcome to the show, right? Let's、uh, kick off. This is always my happiest place on planet Earth, Jack, with you and your viewers. Very good. Very thank very good. you for letting me be here. I believe that、uh, the 19th Congress of、uh, CPC in China, which is happening as we speak, yes, has been very well reported, very well written, including. Of course, I'm not talking about English media that is written by the Chinese、uh, sure. news agency. Yes, sir. I'm talking about English media here, self-motivated.、Mm-hmm. Right, talking about that, and there are quite a few. I have some. You have some there. Right. right. So, what is your overall take or impression about this conference, please? Well, a couple of interesting、uh, impressions. Okay,、mm-hmm. number one, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it occurs every five years.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、does. every five years, and then you know the hall that、mm-hmm. this Congress or whatever you call it uh, uh, meets in is like beyond magnificent. It's huge. Okay,、mm-hmm. and so then also the the president's speech was、uh, three hours or so, and and I I saw all these pictures going around the room, and there were. <laughs> When it's that long, there's going to be a bunch of people taking a nap, okay? No, and, maybe the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. the bathroom. I mean,、uh, because it's、oh, they long. They have they have sessions.、Uh-huh. They have they have sessions in between. Okay. Yeah, yeah, recess. I mean, recess. Recesses. Between, okay. Yeah. 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 I, they I, have I recesses、so. every now and then,、yeah. of course. Right. And as cameras, you know, you're not shooting recesses. You're talking about the whole thing, the piece. Yeah. In between, you you、yeah. you don't want.、Ex- uh, Expect anybody to stay the three, five, four hours long? No. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, well, people u- kind of used to do that, but but also、mm-hmm. that it's showing a lot. We talked about a lot of the the previous、uh, Chinese leaders are now eighty to ninety five years old,、mm-hmm. so there was a lot of、uh, wisdom of elderly people in there. It quite How, interesting. Oh, yeah, good. That's exactly one of the points I want to I want to check with you. How do you read that as a symbol? Well, actually,、uh, you know. Like w- if we have a change in administrations and and we don't have as much content because our parties are so drastically different, they don't have that drastic difference between pri- prior leadership、mm. and current leadership. So so there it's much smoother with the continuity of philosophy and and like when President Trump is in now, that's a total change in philosophy completely from President Obama. You're right, you're right. So yeah, so yeah, there's yeah, a、yeah. difference. It's much smoother. So they're showing their support for the. Current leader,、yeah. and, and that's good. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. And I read that sign also positively, very positively. Number one positivity is that the fact that you have this single party、uh, government, right?、Mm-hmm. Now you are talking about your previous session, previous Congress, and this Congress. 
they are all kind of inner lined. Well, right? Yeah. Inner lined in the continuation kind of thing. There's a lot of. Uh, uh, it's uh, not kind of kind of like a yeah. party A comes on to go against party B. The over right. flips of party B. Right, that's it. Like what we have here. There is no party right. B. The yeah. left or right, or yeah. party A or B. There is no party B and back yet, there. And yet, when we go back thirty years, mm -hmm. the 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 tenets of their of the agenda, political mm -hmm. agenda, there have evolved a lot. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And, and the projection is more mm -hmm. evolvement, you know, evolution uh, up to like 2050, where there are they've laid out some real goals for the country to yeah, achieve. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And the back to the uh, the, to, to, to the exact point, uh, lots of people say they read that as an indication to the outer world, saying that we want to continue from where we started, something like that. From where? But they're going to a different. A different level of uh, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. citizenship participation in successes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more different they want to show, yeah. the more they want to show also that we are not dragging ourselves a far away from the foundation. Look at those older guys, right? Right. They are here. They are our uh, previous generation, and we are well. We're just following the trail. Something like that, but yet it, that trail is really a positive development yes, for I the agree. individual totally rights of the citizens. I totally agree. But there are, there might be some disagreement about where it's heading. All right. There are to explain right. to that, the images of the older guy would do a lot. Right. And, right. And, yes. And and they've in, correct me if you disagree, but you know I read everywhere that the current president Xi is. Uh, is probably the hardest liner, the most powerful uh, in like 40 years that has mm. assumed more power uh, of this individual strength and, and intentions. Mm. Uh, I like to see more leadership being involved in the direction of China because then there's co co more compromises. It's very hard for a person, a strong person, to compromise with himself if he doesn't have to. So, but but that's where it is right now, and th this is a big meeting. We, you, you, I'm sure you guys are covering it in China. Mm, yeah, of course. And uh, we should have gone right now. We right we now have uh, have uh, one, two, two guys back in there in Beijing. Yeah, doing the on-site coverage ourselves. Yeah, good, good. Here we're doing it for our English-speaking audiences. Yeah, and here we're taking a uh, we're taking our unique stand. As uh, Chinese Americans, yes. Well, how we like these two countries do their best. <laughs> we take. I no want to be allies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, be of course. Allies. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. And uh, we want to fight for each other. That's it. Right. We want to work all together. Something like that. Right. Okay. Now, speaking of that thing, I noticed there is lots and lots of comment talking about the uh, anti-corruption movement. Yes. Yeah. Right. I believe that. Uh, yeah. Because this is my a. Record, I, I like this phrase. Talking about right. Yeah. It says, uh, t uh, you know, take take the fat off the bone, all the way down to the bone. Take the and, fat off. And so, the you know, every. I mean, look, America's got a lot of corruption. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to fight it too. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, I really okay. do. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you and I might agree, disagree what our corruption is, but we have it. We have it plenty. And, and now China's taking action. I don't know exactly what action, but people are certainly that have had power before have lost their power and some are in prison for taking advantage of the power. And so that's good. They are not only taking advantage of power, they are using the power to, to collect those numbers yeah, that, yeah. You would, that will, will, yeah. will, you will get scared from head, head to toe. Right. Good point. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, you know what? Uh, if I were Xi Jinping myself, I would weigh also the left hand side of choices, the right hand side of choices. Okay, mm -hmm. now, number one, if I go ahead, uh, go with the anti corruption thing, when those numbers are going public, honestly, it is very bad. It is very bad. It, yeah. It is very bad to, 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 to the public. Okay, yeah. now, if I keep it, if I keep it without, it, I, I'm prevented from going public. And those guys get kind of encouraged. They will go even worse. 
Yeah, and, and, and the farther you are from Shanghai and Beijing and the main cities too, the more the corruption can easily be continued and enjoyed by those corruptors. Yes, you're right. Because basically, there's not as many people looking basic, at them. Basically, yeah. and even in Beijing, even in Shanghai, even yeah. under their own nose, right. the corruptions are so big. So that's why. Right. Yeah, right. So that's why. <laughs> even under their nose. So that's why. Oh, remember this time when the older guys portray themselves uh, to the to, to the conference. Uh, mm -hmm. There is the one Zhu Rongji, okay, and he was the former uh, premier, okay, all right, of China, and he once Big said, <laughs> he once said, for, for the anti-corruption, I have prepared one hundred caskets mm. for, all right. 99, the 99 caskets are for them that I take down. Yeah, wow. And the last one, for myself. Wow. You major, know what? Major it statement. needs a lot of courage to do so. Yeah. yeah. Needs a lot of courage to do so. Xi Jinping doesn't have to say, I want to use the quote, exact quote that Zhong Ji said. Sure. All he needs to do is that, come Bye -bye. over here, yeah. sit here. Yeah. Okay, you, me, sitting together, so people will know that I will have the same thing, the same courage, right? Same determination. Yeah. I don't see how you de how determined he is, saying that I pre prepared the last casket, the coffin for myself. Right. Right. Well, and also what happens when there is corruption? Normally, it's the people under those with less power uh, of the, than the corruptors that are the main sufferers. Mm -hmm. the, the government above them doesn't suffer as much, but it's the lower people uh, uh, that really suffer from corruption. It is more dangerous. And those are the ones we love. Yes, we're right. It is, the, it is more dangerous when the corruption develops almost like a culture. Well, that's right. That everybody corrupts. That's right. That is dev devastating. So she says either we all die or we fight for the last kick. Right, right, right. That's why Zhu Rongji says, I prepared 100 casket, uh -huh. the last one for myself. Right. That's a determination, right? Yeah. I really. hope that's one thing for sure, this Congress for the 19th CPC, which is in Beijing now, mm -hmm. has made it firm, so solid, that they will go, they will continue on the anti-corruption. Right, they will look for it and try to reduce it. Very good, very right. good. So let's keep our fingers crossed for them. And I want us to do the same here. Ah, all right, very good. Oh, by the way, he is an artist. His job is to find out the holes, right? Yes. Who did what with the numbers. Right, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's what you do. I'm good at it. All right, very good. I uh, Probably someday China should invite you to go there. I'm ready. Say, I can. Well, check my number. I'm packed. <laughs> I'll do it like that. I'm packed. Okay, let's take a very short moment out. When we come back, we will continue finding what are those highlights of our this 19th Congress for CPC in China. You know, with me today is my good friend Ken Hemming, a uh, wonderful commentator. He and I will share a lot when things go positive. Hello, dear friends, lovely audience. Just uh, Jack is my name on the East West Show with the GNE TV today in the uh, subject of the 19th Congress of Chinese uh, CPC, uh, which is happening now, is my good friend Ken Hemming joining me. Uh, we're sharing our thoughts, especially his wonderful thoughts, with you talking about those positivity it has shown so far. Right? Uh, welcome back to the show. Happy to All be right, here, good. always. I have little something that bothers me uh, for quite some time. The name of the Chinese governing party is called the CPC, yes, sir. right? There is a word C there, which is a word we don't like. Right. Uh, at least I don't like. Yeah. However, you look around China, nothing goes with a C. The C star change. To C stands for capitalism instead yeah. of communism. Yeah. Well, it's certainly invading the country. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and is welcome uh, as long as the capitalism is experienced in a way without corruption. In 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 other words, in a way with creativity, uh, mm. uh, product design, product creation, 
sales. I, I'm a person that loves salespeople, okay? Mm. In fact, in China right now is working very hard, Jack, on having better uh, uh, methods of selling their products because they have more products available for sale than we have orders that are coming to China right now. I just mm. read all about that, and that's interesting. So look, I could sell anything. I could sell snow to an Eskimo. I would I love to go to China and be a salesperson. Of course, it, is, uh, it could be easily understood by me, by a person like myself, who was born there at that environment, right? right? Brought up all the way halfway. I came here halfway in my life here. Yes. Uh, so I got my second part of education here. Yes. Right? So I'm kind of a international. You're a hybrid. I, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I'm hybrid. Yeah. I can go between, right? Yeah. Okay, now, I, I wonder, would them, my native-born American friends, understand the way I do? Mm -hmm. Because the word original C stands for communism. That's where it yeah. came from. And the later C stands for capitalism. Right. Of course, officially say they didn't change the name. Correct. But you look around, you see nothing yeah. but capitalism there in China. Yes. So they're okay with it. So uh, my question, of course I'm okay. Mm -hmm. My question is, that is that okay to you? Does that two definition of the C bother you? Well, um, no, no, it, gi it gives me hope because I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a capitalist. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing, like for example in America, I believe we have been massively over-regulated, okay? And, and President Trump is reducing these regulations and our, our economy is exploding. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the, the, the tax cut vote yeah, yeah. is a big thing going on. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and we did approve the budget last night and so mm -hmm. now it will proceed to a vote for the tax cut mm -hmm. uh, with some obnoxious Republicans that are resisting what should happen. Well, let's but see. That's the way it is, okay? Yes, yes, uh, uh, but so, but in China, they, they, I don't think there's the same written regulations, but the government basically has whatever regulation it wants. So mm -hmm. I'd like to see less regulations too, uh, and more freedom for individual creativity and, and progress, which is existing there, uh, uh, than, than currently exists. And in America, less regulations too, uh, in, in fact, one of the big areas for regulations here, and this is hope for China, is is uh, the environment, okay? And they want America to yeah, oh, yeah, make yeah, ourselves yeah, perfect, yeah, okay? Uh, well, half the world, uh, is, and, and China's answer, working yeah, on that. To answer your question, I'm, I'm glad that you feel comfortable about the CC, right? The C and the C. As long, yes. And I'm comfortable too, and I'm glad that the check, the check would make uh, me feel better, because I thought my, uh, native-born American friend will have a hard time understanding. Now that they understand, it's okay. But the thing is that you're talking about government rules, right? Mm -hmm. Compared to what we have in the United States, China has far, far, far less. Except they have more power far, far, over the people far, than we do here. Less. That's why they go with anti-corruption, to check, are you using your power correctly? or within bond, uh, within your range, right? right? So, and they have a can, I mean, handcuff ready while mm -hmm. they're checking, so otherwise, he's, well, handcuff you, you go. Right, Off right. you go like that. So, yeah. with that kind of rule, they do give those uh, government employees the right, the right, right? The right, but the right is not to be, to be abused. Abused, abused. right. Right, right. Give me a, so in order to check abu the abuse, there goes the anti-corruption with a hand in hand. Yeah. So that's right. That's probably, uh, like say, like in previous, I mean, prior to the show, you and I had a little discussion talking about there's no model on this global earth already mm -hmm. for a country with a, that kind of population. Correct. Yeah. In, in President Xi also, in his speech, said he hopes that China's model for, for governing will inspire other countries to do the same. Yeah. Now, I don't particularly want it, that to happen, but, but, um, uh, but they have great aspirations yeah, of, of course. being... You don't want to let that ha happen. Right. I don't want either. Yeah. Because we're here talking about the United States. But I'd like us to morph closer. Yeah. If you say, if you are in India, 
Big country, too. Yeah, big country, too. These are big. Probably you think differently. We have to excuse ourselves for our thinking one, one-sided because we're here one-sided. If you have an overall universal look around, mm-hmm. you will say, who the hell tells me this is the only one word? Right? And there well, might be some other model that work. There might, you know, Jack, there can be some other models that work, but, but there's only one word that, that I just worship, for in, in, which is America, and that is individual liberty and freedom. And right down to the basic citizens, which, all of us. Which That's uh, what uh, is, right. it's hard have, to uh, succeed without understand, that. understand, understand. Yeah. Which I basically agree, but on top, my uh, additional take yes. is that your knowledge, my knowledge, is based on the capability of ourselves at, 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 at knowing things. Yeah, the opportunity to move forward. Yeah. And there are things we are unable to, yeah. to notice, or unable to even to understand. Or there are areas we've never been there myself, ourselves, right? So mm-hmm. now, let the world be the world. Let the world be the way it is regionally. We are a diverse world. We have all kinds of situations, all kinds of systems. And with a population of that big, that size, I, oh, you and That's I just a big check. population. <laughs> India has 1.324 billion yeah. as of 2016. Yeah. Right. China has 1.379 billion right. as of 2016. Holy cow. Now, I last checked, according to the United Nations uh, the statistics as of last night. Right, right. It has 1.4117 in China. Too many Chinese are kissing each other, Jack. Your yeah. population's so, no, growing like crazy. We're talking about to run a country with that kind of population. Right. And yet nobody has provided any model. Model right. for uh, reference. Right. For yeah. your res- reference. Yeah. Uh, Karl Marx failed. Right. right. Vladimir Lenin failed. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Donald Trump succeeded so far, so but far. he has only 3.23 million. 323 million. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. No, it's, so a, it's a lot less. 323 yeah. million. In the so vast space now, of now, China's. Now, huge. Mr. President Xi Jinping has nothing on hand as references to go by the by. No. We well, must go his own way. And then we deserve to at least mention uh, at that point with, with the massive space in China, the, uh, what, what is it, the, the long road or whatever that is their project? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the silk, I mean, the, 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 yeah. the, 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 the build and the road. Yeah, right, right. Okay, the now, right. Yeah, good. Thank so you. they're working on that. Thank you yeah. for mentioning yeah. that. Yeah, I remember and what you, you said. You and I, we discussed about it, Yes, right? we have. It is an initiative yeah. to motivate all the surrounding uh, exactly areas uh, countries they have opportunities the pacific yeah. ring right pacific <coughs> ocean ring including the, within the its the rim, own the rim yeah to all together develop right and yet with the chinese money right you right. Chinese money. and of course china expects a return on that investment so this this person representing the cpc of china mm-hmm. president xi jinping must have lots of guts well, because you know China's got a lot of a lot of debt and a lot of growth, uh, growing problems too, and so to keep spending and investing in that in that spreading yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, does take uh, courage, lots of yeah. courage, lots of courage, and also belief that look it'll around, work. Look around, that it'll look work. around those areas. Right, you hold, you have all kinds of trouble, all kinds of trouble. Yeah, right. no, you're trying to rein, reinvigorate uh, troubled areas. Exactly. Right. In other words, Mr. Xi Jinping, as president of China now, number one has the vision, number two has the gut, and uh, now with all and the, the power <laughs> and the power, of yeah. course, and of course. Right. Now with the older guys joining him in the party, yeah, probably his next term will be better, will be even better. You know, it's I love to I just love to see. All of these Chinese, everyone, almost everybody's in a black or blue suit. They all look great, you know. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice mm-hmm. vision. All I right, wish good. I was sitting in the hall. Yeah, I wish to go myself, but I can't cancel the show, though. Right. All right, my dear friends, my lovely audiences, uh, with me, Ken Hemming, and I, we're having a good time. 
talking about the 19th Congress of CPC of China, uh, which is a big thing the whole world is paying attention to. Big. And we have lots of reports. Some are even funny, some are even funnier. <laughs> okay, but not bad. They are all not. But these are real. They're nothing serious bad. Things. They're nothing bad. Uh, well, we'll take a very short moment out. When we come back, we'll talk about the uh, international cooperation in the f terms of uh, uh, anti corruption. Okay. Right. All right. So, and also, there's another huge, huge area talking about the defense of the blue sky. Yes, sir. And the Chinese dream. There are lots of new, brand new stuff. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, my lovely friends, my dear audiences. Welcome back, my dear fellow Americans, talking about China, uh, where I came from many, 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 many years ago. Uh, I still take China as my uh, mother country, as my country here in the United States, who, who, to whom I uh, pledge my allegiance to uh, be loyal forever. I do, in a, in a position like this, see, like to see, wish to see, the best that happened to both countries. Absolutely, right. because we care about individual citizens. Very good, very good. So with me today, my good friend Ken Hamming, uh, in the discussion about the 19th Congress of CPC, which is happening in China now, uh, we're having lots of uh, good time. And we know that China has the number one population, and China has also the longest history. It's really big. And China has lots of money. And China has lots of problems, but China has everything. Bad Positive, bad. Neg negative, right. has everything. everything. Right? So for, for somebody, who, for a group of people, now they have seven mm -hmm. right, group of people in charge of a, such a big country. It's not an not a easy job. Not, oh, easy not job. an easy job. Not an easy job. Where do you start? That's you the question. You look at the United States, yeah. you have 100 senators, you have 425 uh, representatives, right. right? Right. That's 525 altogether, yeah. right? You're mm. good, Jack. And uh, you're doing on a day-to-day -day fight, day-to-day mm -hmm. -day argument. Mm -hmm. You're doing on a day-to-day -day vote whatsoever. Right. right? Okay, right. now, I'm not saying which is system is bad, is good, or which system is bad. I'm talking about system, as long as it is a system, it has its reason to, to, to exist. Mm -hmm. Once it exists, let them have the chance to survive, to prove themselves. That's fair. Okay, now. That's fair. One way to prove is uh, anti-corruption. Anti yeah. And it, well, see, and the thing, Jack, Jack, say if everybody in China or everybody in the world read my book on my personal value system, Nobody will there would be no corruption. That's Nobody the truth. Okay. I can't corrupt you because I'm wish. stuck you in my own wish soul. everybody reads your book. Right, right. The fact that you have a Jack Shaw talking like a Ken Hammy yeah. is because of your book. No, that's right. That's right. It, it, it has I'm evolved, yes. Because I'm influenced. Right, exactly. I'm shaped that way. Right? Yeah, exactly. So that's why we wish everybody reads that. Right. Oh, by the way, my, uh, my recommendation to the book, Life Simple, 100 Words to Live By, with Chinese translation, head to toe, you probably want to check. You want to get one. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Because uh, that's what it is. You know, when a person, in, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. part of our corruption in America I'm talking about is, you know, comes from the breakdown of the family and whatever, and people aren't growing up with the value systems that we used to. You are so too So we have greedy. to try to get. You're too greedy as, hu as, as a human. 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 Right? The rapaciousness okay. is the weakest point of a human being. Okay. So you want to <coughs> overcome that. Right, and you don't have to succumb to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, uh, somewhere, somehow, during his speech, lots of people noticed that he says, no matter those corrupted officials, where go, where they go, mm -hmm. we will capture them and bring them back to face justice. Yes, in... in in, in justice is a very hard word to define. I have friends <coughs> in the law enforcement. Uh -huh. You know how they read it? He said, yeah, he said, sounds like a call. Sounds like a call for us 
to join the party with the international policing. Ooh. Well, there is a, there is. I said, oh, that's not a bad idea. Interpol is an interla international policing yes, activity. Yes, the Interpol thing, yeah. the international policing, yeah. is a, it's so, well, we need it. Well, you need it, we need it. Yeah. And the fact is that in the United States, especially in California, due to the weather, right? Right. Lots of lots of areas, lots of city in the areas are kind of this the harbor. Yeah, the har harbor that opportunity. For the for the for the for the for the bad guys on the run. Mm -hmm. Right? Why don't we join our hands together? And my law informant my friend says, Well, well, why can I we can we we can we can partake. We can partake in the in the local in the local. Right, absolutely. Thing, right? right. So and he calls upon that. So do you think the United States will somewhere, somehow, work out a, some uh, some treaties, whatever, to China for the exchange? Well, you know, China and America have so very, very many exchange programs going on. Mm -hmm. I'm sure policing and enforcement uh, is certainly in, mm -hmm. that, in that pile. By the way, just let, give me 10 seconds to say, mm -hmm. you mentioned California. We've got over 40 people dead in these fires in Northern oh, California. Yeah, 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 yeah. That the tragedy in California now is huge. And there's so more many than, things yeah, to cover on the than, news yeah. that it mm -hmm. doesn't even get fully covered. But people are dying in, in thousands and hundreds, thousands and thousands of acres. Anyway, big tragedy in California, so God bless them all. God bless them all. And also, uh, uh, something to note was that uh, our brave men and women as firefighters right. and police officers, law enforcement, everybody is doing their best. Fires are very their, difficult enemies. They're putting out their best. They're so doing just their to best. suppose, okay, put it this yeah. way, put it this way. If a police officer dies on line of duty, right. he gets shot. Which, boom. 161 did last year. In the, in the, in the, in the blink of a second, yeah. life is gone, right. right? Okay, now, if a firefighter gets burned, to death, it goes inching in. I know. The death, not arrive within a second, the death will come and in. And the pain's incredible. The pain is incredible. I've had second and third degree burns on yeah, my hand incredible. and it's incredible. I hate to think about that. I hate to imagine right. that way. Right. But it's reality. If you think about how yeah. much danger they encounter, they And with winds, fire moves so fast you can't outrun it. You, there's no fire truck in the world yeah, that'll go right, faster than right, the wind. You're right, you're yeah, right, you're it's right, distract. Right. But thank you for letting us honor them. Yeah, sure, sure. Honor them, please. Honor them, the uh, the uh, highest responders right, and, and the responders, citizens. Everything. Okay, now talking about the international uh, policing, China does need. It looks that way, and that will benefit the United States too because when those guys kind of like her in a runaway hide place, mm -hmm. right? We don't want to provide harbor for them or like a sanctuary, a sanctuary city or sanctuary whatever, a community something. Right, I don't right. like that, yeah. We can go ahead and confiscate, com confiscate the money, mm -hmm. right? It is the dirty money, we can, we can do that, so. Yeah, uh, well, for example, in one big area, Jack, mm -hmm. uh, that both China and America and every country could benefit from is if we work together to provide more security from cyber attacks. We don't. I don't want to attack China oh, yes, and yes, get into course. their systems. I don't want them to c come here, get into mm -hmm. our systems, and mm -hmm. weaken us. You know, in the grid and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish we could all hug each other and and develop a foolproof to the extent possible cyber protection that we all share in. So just like you, I lock my front door of the house, you guys aren't invited to come in. Work together for a security system that protects China and America, Russia and America mutually. Thank God you mentioned that because uh, it is really something, especially now, we believe that we need. We need and if bad. we could put the uh, efforts together at least we could have prevented like the breach, the ID breach of 1.4 million already, more than. Well, 143 million in, in Equifax that, that, that Oh, no, 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 yeah. 143, not 1.4. Yeah, 143 oh, yeah, yeah, million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's 100 times bigger than I said. It's big. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. People mm -hmm. know everything about my financial situation through these already, kind of activities. Already, already. Right. That's half of the population of the United States. That's been, right. Been breached already. It's, it's right. terrible. And what's the problem is in mm -hmm. America, corporations, you know, they don't put as much money into cybersecurity because you don't make money off it. Suppose and so it's a loss leader, and they're more putting more of their resources into making more money, which yeah, is yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But you still have to. You have a responsibility to protect your the people receiving your services in in a secure lucky, way. Lucky, lucky, and we're we, failing. We're failing. Lucky we that breach only happens in the financial area so far what if it's so far so far what if it yeah, goes tomorrow. to your national defense right no well let's we're all that we're national intelligence right 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 so i now believe as a big country both china and the united states are worried about that i'm sure uh, and there are talents why not work together <laughs> why not together right. why not work together right yeah. okay and uh, and, uh, and we have, okay, there are some uh, projects or something that cost a lot of money. But this sure. thing, this thing, pu put your existing efforts right. to one direction, that doesn't cost extra money. Do no. you think so? No, it, it just needs to be done. We have really failed. Uh, uh, not everybody, but, you know, these cyber, uh, cyber uh, security breakdowns, they shouldn't happen. Now, there's a lot of smart people in this world mm -hmm. that have evil intentions. So, and, and they have lots of time on their hands. So they could keep trying things, trying things, trying things, you know. If you, if you take a, a lock and you do, do every combination possible, eventually that lock's gonna open. So that's what they do. They have very bad intentions. This morning on the news, I wonder if you heard that Pennsylvania or whatever state, there are two guys on the run. Okay. And they end up in a, in a breakfast place for some, uh, for two orders of hash browns and a coffee something. Okay. And total $7. Yeah. For their $7, they fled. Right? And they were chased and later and they captured somewhere out of a far away wow. uh, out of the restaurant for the $7 only. Which is not which was not even worth the gasoline. Why right? would they, right? Why what would is worth? What made it worse though? After that, the cops captured it, them. They found all the computers, uh -huh. devices, and all the tools and everything. The chips. There's over a million something. Wow. Of ID breached. So how dumb were these by two, those guys? two guys? By yeah. those, by, Buy those two guys. Yeah, they're so dumb. For seven bucks, I'll give you seven bucks for your seven breakfast. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Yeah. Wow. But thank God. Thank the restaurant that are so so decisive. Oh, that's good. To chase to chase all the way for right. the seven bucks. Right. Right. All right. You're right. And, and, and as a surprise, this got this guy was something this big. See, this is where there's such a difference between intelligence and technical proficiency and common sense. These guys were smart. They had all their computer stuff and whatever they did with their brains. No common sense. Pay your bill and say thank you and leave. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. I didn't hear about so that. So, yeah. Internationally, if we put our brain together, yeah. we can prevent things from happening. Absolutely. In lots of situations. Yeah. In lots of situations. And we need the intention right. to do that. Yes, exactly. You know, not just, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. You need right. the intention. All right. Uh, let's take a short moment now. Today with me, my friend Ken Hamming, we're having good time talking about the 19th Congress of CPC China. And, uh, well, we touched on different areas. This one including uh, uh, the uh, cyber security for both protections. We recommend China and the United States join their hands to work ahead Protect each for, other. Something, for something better, for a better future. Yeah. And we also mm, remember that uh, in the speech, a long one. <laughs> Very long, yeah. <laughs> a long one. Somebody was kind of yawning. The two napper. Like that, right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, he made some uh, very, very excellent points. And there is one he says, for the defense of the blue sky. Right. Right? Yeah, right. And when we come back, we'll talk about the defense for the blue sky, please. <laughs>
Hello, my dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Jack with Ken. Uh, Ken is a beautiful uh, uh, philosopher. He has a beautiful set of mind, a uh, handsome face, uh, pretty much like like Donald Trump. Right, absolutely. Donald Trump of Pasadena, especially <laughs> when you laugh like that. That's right. Look upon. Okay, this the next time you change your hairdo. That's I'll it. do it all. All right, good. Uh, we are having lots of good time talking about the President Xi Jinping and his speech at the uh, 19th Congress of uh, CBC, which is happening now in Beijing. He mentioned 19 important points mm -hmm. that I made a note upon. And uh, yes, right. I believe right. deserve. I believe deserve. I believe deserve to be talked about. Right. One of them is talk is to talk about the protection or defense of the blue sky. Yeah, that's an environmental issue. Do you um, recall that? Yes, yes. Mm. And, and so, uh, what's your uh, what's your take on that? Well, you know, you see you see videos or something uh, from uh, Shanghai or Beijing or something. A lot of the Chinese people mm. were in these masks mm -hmm. because the breathing there there can be some some risk in that because the, like apparatus. Yeah, yeah, like the, the, yeah, because yeah. the pollution is a problem. And so when when they're worried about you know oxygen in, in the air that close to their mouth, obviously. It, it, it builds up uh, difficulty to see all the way to a blue sky. So the blue sky is obliterated. Mm. And um, now how do you do it, okay? Uh, China uh, still really has so much industry and production mm. going on, uh, uh, industrialization. Um, and it's, you know, it's hard to do anything that doesn't have some impacts on, on the atmosphere. But they're not all, you know, negative to where I, th you know, I'm not a climate control guy that where I think that, you know, the planet's killing itself. But, but there are more things we can do. And China, uh, it, it hasn't been the number one priority because it couldn't be the number one priority. They've had so many other challenges. All and right. also people that now with capitalism, you know, thriving over there, uh, people are, are making products and sending them to America and wherever else. Mm. So, and, and that takes machinery and machinery emits stuff. I don't know exactly everything. Yeah, thank you for saying that, for th and I appreciate your analysis. But the thing is that we used to say, when we say we, we're talking about the earthlings. Yes, sir. We earthlings. We earthlings used to say that you guys, the most advanced nations, mm -hmm. are supposed to do more for the environmental control. Because we countries are developing countries. We are late co latecomers. Right. We're only catching up, catching yeah. up, so we get a less job to do. This is what we used to say. Right. It, now it, it, I, yeah. it is changed. I it is changed. Judging from uh, Xi Jinping in his report, mm -hmm. he takes him in. Yeah. Well, he, he's. It is his job too, to fight for the protection of the blue sky. Yeah. Yeah. What a take. Well, if China used to deny it. Right, it makes sense. I mean, I, I personally don't want yeah, my taxes right. to go to clear the air up in China. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I, you know, that's your air, clean it up. Yeah. And it's our air, clean you're it right, up. You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Today's your air, and then when next day is somebody's air, it moves around. Right, right, right. Yeah. You keep on polluting, polluting, and polluting. Yeah. And there's the day, there, the, until there's the day, there's no clean air. Right. Altogether. But, but, you know, it's all from the industrialization, which is normal development of mm -hmm. human uh, nature to create products and, mm -hmm. and try to have possessions that make your life more pleasant. Yeah. I recall back about 30-something years when I first came upon those many years, if you uh, drive from uh, east to west on I-10, mm -hmm. even on a clear day, you couldn't see downtown. Oh. I got out to California way back, and I couldn't see the mountains in the San Gabriel yeah. Valley. It's all and fogged up. Big it's difference. all fogged up. Great progress. Right now, you see when you do the same thing, Pretty you good. can see lovely, vivid pictures. Pretty you good. You see the buildings, the windows, whatever. Right. right? Yeah. You're exactly okay. right. Okay. Now it works. Yeah. It proves it works. Okay. Yeah. Now, China is seeing it. China is not denying it, and China right. is, China is doing it. Right. Right. It so will take time. A lot of time. Another word, another word. 
if you clean your air, mm -hmm. the air cleaned goes away. Right. And then next day you do the same thing. Yeah. You go. You make progress. Like you do slowly. Batch after yeah. batch after batch of air, you make progress in the long right. run. And also, though, at the same time, there's more and more industrialization in China, which does cause some pollution. And so it's a battle, you know. So, but, but if you keep addressing it, you will win the battle. Just now you mentioned, you mentioned about uh, regulations and rules. Right. And the powers, right? Right. Now China is making some laws. Right, yeah. That's uh, how much I understand them. Right. They're making laws that when you suppose, when you apply to open something, mm -hmm. you prove, prove the impact. Okay, you prove me with the something what we call the uh, impact plan. Okay, right, like two plans. Mm -hmm. This is your development. This is your impact, and how you deal with your impact mm -hmm. plan. Without a plan, there is no industry. Yeah, without a plan, so it's just they will not casual give chaos. them license. They will not license them to open. Right, right. So that's a way to, to, to stop those abusive industrial development. Mm -hmm. What's happened in America a lot, though, that there's so many of these regulations before you can open your new business that you go broke before you get it open. Yeah. And so you, it, it works against sense. progress. And it, yeah, some make sense and some are some onerous. Some make sense, some, some don't. Right, right, right. To, to, to other aspects, for example, I have a friend of mine who was about a uh, commercial property okay. and tries to enlarge it by adding up the second floor. Sure, sure. And the argument was that you have only limited spaces for, for, for parking. Right, right. So with the added stories, you call for extra parking. Right. And going checking and there is about that there is, there is no one. Right, right, there is none. Now, what I see as the argument is, was that, okay, now, those are not air pollution whatsoever thing. Mm -hmm. Those call, what calls is only for how you define a parking. Right. So they go back, check about their book. There was a rules uh, made of 1952, okay. and the uh, uh, parking space should, should be extra uh, feet wide. Yeah. Back then, you're talking about big cars. Yeah, now you can c make the lines closer. Yeah, you make it closer. That's right. And then every three, you, you, you I right. mean, every two, you squeeze. Make three. You probably make three, yeah. something like that. That's true. With that taken into consideration, the the code people, yeah. the code, I call them code people. That's interesting. And made it work, something like that. Right. Okay, now, those kind of power we want. Right. Make things work. Right. Right? Get it done. Yeah. So, and you, if you do it in a way, say, hey, no, 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 there's none. There is none. You kill business, like I say, before they go broke, before they start, right? Absolutely true. Back in China, they're following the same copy. Mm -hmm. They're doing the same thing. They're making rules. You get the job done, you want to make sure that pollution is taken care of, here is your license permit. But it takes 50 years just to make progress. It just takes time because it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, you want to slow down. You right. don't want to go fast like how right. this. You don't want to slow down business. You don't so want yeah. to yeah. disrupt business. Sure, e exactly. Yeah. So you want to protect yourself, not only yourself, your sons and daughters, your grandsons and daughters, and it goes mm. on and on and on until you're talking about a whole posterity, mm -hmm. right? Right, right, so right, right. So he, he, it's responsible to talk about. And yeah. I believe President Xi Jinping made a good call. Among all the calls, all his calls, right, the one gets me most, right, uh, motivated, <laughs> most, most motivated, okay. is the defense for a blue sky. Right. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's been a while coming, but it's now part of the agenda. Uh, and, and highlighted in uh, uh, in his speech. Of course, of course. You're talking about in a country with 1.4 over billion as a population, a lot of people. with a number one guy make a call. A lot of people. You never know how big the influence is. Right. Right. A lot and, of people. And if uh, he proposed this direction, and there is a different, big difference if pro proposed it the other direction. Mm -hmm. So. I prefer the fact, I like the fact that he pushed this way to call for defense of the blue sky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now the only thing is that you want to dream a Chinese dream in the blue sky. Right. Am I right? Right. So what's your definition of a Chinese dream, though, by the way? 
Well, I th my definition of a Chinese dream is that all of the, all of the individual citizens in China, all of the people, uh, see hope to have a better future, a little more prosperity. You don't need to be wealthy, but you want prosperity. So you've got nice, uh, uh, a decent place to live and, and uh, you know, sometimes air conditioning and the basic needs of, and desires of life. That's, mm. that's the dream is that, th is that the people feel the hope. Right now in America, people are feeling the hope. Our economy is doing really well and feeling the hope. Uh, uh, our, our wages in America for 20 years, there was no greater purchasing power for the, for the workers. Now there is, and, and I want the same for China. Mm. And also, if we wanna, you wanna and think, to have a job. You wanna <laughs> think further, uh, you're thinking about American dream, American dream emphasizes more to the fact of your self-freedom, yep. your self-establishment, Right. Your self value. Available for all. Are available for all, for yeah. all some kind of thing. Back in China, you're talking about all together, they want to do something to mankind. Well, and mankind starts at home. Mankind starts in China. All right, good. That's a good philosophy. Yeah, that's a good take. It starts at home. Mankind starts with yourself. Right. It if does. you don't have a dream, mankind does not even have a dream. Uh, Am I right? It won't grow. If, right, if, you know, if grows from individual okay. sprouts. Okay, to sum up, uh, what do you hope after, after this, uh, after China, for uh, after, you're talking about another five years, right? So Right. Well, you know, hope? this five-year deal with the Congress, uh, it's been, it, it's kind of about transitioning of leadership. But there, this time, and maybe others too, too, before, there's no transitioning of leadership. It's more uh, you don't see You don't see a trail of tran transit whatsoever. Well, in, in the past, sometimes there's been a new, a new, yeah, 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 a yeah. new president brought Some in. Some kind of itch or whatever. Right, mm -hmm. right. But, but here, it's sort of solidifying the power in, in President Xi. In other words, so he, that's will a little different. he will continue with his next second term, yep. and he will carry what will he, he comes along with. Yeah, and plus he pick up the previous uh, older older guys. Right. Right. In other words, he will come back to some of the old times, and which I'm which are are not not too bad to abandon. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. No. Correct. Yeah, I caught it like that. And Maybe. I'm also looking forward to our president going to visit him over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm ready they for that. They say that they will do it still within the year. Yeah. We're talking about a month and a half. Yep. It's exciting. Exciting. Get All right. on Air Force One good. and fly All over. right, good, very good. If he does that, I'll support him. <laughs> Me too, he will do it. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, my dear friends, we're talking about China, and namely the 19th Congress of the CPC, which is happening in Beijing now. Uh, with me, joining me in the kind of discussion, my good friend Ken Hamming, a philosopher and educator. He's a book writer and a beautiful author for a wonderful book and uh, CPA for life. Oh, he's an auditor, matter of fact, mm -hmm. uh, much better than that. Uh, well, to um, you, thank you for watching, and to my dear friend, Ken Hamming, I thank you very much for your analysis, and I especially thank you for your mentioning of our firefighters. Absolutely, and God bless you and all your viewers. God bless everyone. Absolutely. Thank you.